In this episode of the Google Secret Manager video series, we'll talk about how Secret Manager can aid in threat detection and forensic analysis. Where can you find a list of all requests to Google Secret Manager? Stay tuned to find out. While we always want to do as much as we can to prevent a data breach, a good security threat model also accounts for the unexpected and helps us respond in the event of a compromise. All too often, organizations invest all their resources in prevention, and then they leave no bandwidth for detection or recovery. Cloud Audit Logging is a fully managed logging service that once enabled, provides a forensic history of interactions with Google Secret Manager. It also works with other Google Cloud products, but this episode focuses specifically on Secret Manager. To tell us more about Cloud Audit Logging and how it can help with forensics, I think we need to bring in an expert. Hey, Tommy, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Seth. Thank you for having me. So Tommy is a software engineer who works on Google Secret Manager. Tommy, earlier I was telling our viewers about cloud audit logging and how it keeps a detailed list of all interactions with Google Secret Manager. That's right, Seth. But there's an important first step. Oh, what's that? You have to turn them on. Admin right audit logs, which include any changes to secrets, are enabled by default. But admin read logs, which include viewing secret metadata, and data read logs, which log secret access, are disabled by default because of the amount of data they generate. OK, but what if I have my secrets stored across multiple projects? Do I have to enable it on each project, or how does that work? You can enable cloud audit logs on a per product basis, and you can choose to enable logs for admin read, admin write, data read, data write, or any combination. OK, but to rephrase my last question, where do I turn them on? At the project level, or how do I manage this at scale? Ah, great question. Cloud audit logs are configured through IAM and can be enabled on a single project, for all projects in a folder, or for all projects in an entire organization. This means a security team can configure an organization-wide policy that automatically applies to all current and future projects. OK, and, and then what do I do after I turn them on? That's it. Oh. Th this is kind of awkward, then. Why? We just, we had a lot more back and forth with our other experts. I guess cloud audit logging really is this easy. Yep. I'm going to go now. Cool. Uh, thanks, Tommy. Thanks, Seth. OK, let's look at how we enable and consume cloud audit logs for Google Secret Manager. Now that we've enabled cloud audit logging, all requests to access and manage secrets in this project will generate a log entry. I'll go ahead and access a secret so it generates such an audit log entry. These audit logs are written to Cloud Logging, Google Cloud's centralized logging solution, which you can easily access from the sidebar. From here, you can filter by log type, including audit logs, for particular services. For example, suppose you suspected that a service account credential had been compromised. Here, in the log viewer, you can filter for all requests to access secrets using that service account. You can then correlate that data against timestamps, source IP addresses, and more. Google Secret Manager's integration with cloud audit logging brings a wealth of forensic information to your fingertips with a click of a button. That's all for this episode, and this concludes our Secret Manager series. To learn more about Secret Manager, Visit us on the web at cloud.google.com forward slash secret dash manager. And be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications about new and upcoming video series on security, AI, ML, 
databases, storage, and so much more.